So, hi, so who are you? Uh, Taka Tsujimura, uh, president elect of SID. So, you will be the um, SID president next year? Next year, for yes. For two years? Yes. And hi, so who are you? I'm uh, Larry Tanis, and I'm the old guy. I was a president 30 years ago, and I'm wishing our new president great success. So, are you uh, giving some advice or some ideas or something? Uh, well, at my age, I don't give out too much advice anymore. And he doesn't need it, actually. <laughs> so, yeah. um, so did you work with the OLED? Yeah. So OLED what, what do you do with OLED? Actually, the, these days I'm working on uh, something like an OLED lighting strips. Uh, mainly, these days I'm working on uh, advertisement marketing kind of uh, OLED lighting strips. So, so um, and, and in, the, in the past? Actually, in the past, uh, yeah, I, I was working on uh, all the display things. And in the, at first, I was working on LCD, but I uh, moved to the OLED display industry. And then, uh, yeah, worked on uh, Active Matrix OLED manufacturing. So, um, were you part of making OLED commercial? Oh, yeah. And uh, I was in Kodak at the time and uh, uh, worked as a director to. Uh, make the first Active Matrix OLED line. And then uh, uh, we developed uh, OLED television technology. And uh, I think that, that is uh, making a new industry for the OLED television now. And uh, what were you doing? Well, uh, liquid crystals were just coming of their own. And plasma and uh, EL was kind of running the course, having trouble. And liquid crystal passed them up. In 88, there was the big show in Japan where the new liquid crystal was demonstrated with high resolution and large size. OLEDs were not even heard of then, at least not as a display medium. So you were part of making the LCD into mass consumer product? Uh, actually, I made the first breadboard of the first LED, uh, no, liquid crystal calculator display in 1973. And it was used in an autonetics calculator. Nice. That's cool. So, um, what goes on at the SID uh, this in general and the display week? What's the biggest challenge that you will do next year? Actually, uh, the SID is getting uh, a lot of improvement. And, uh, you know, uh, the display industry is boosting. So, uh, we are getting uh, so many good new technologies. So, uh, uh, and also, uh, that we are having uh, a lot of boost in China area. So, uh, uh, yeah, we're just uh, get, uh, collecting all the such a new technology and uh, people and making uh, the society better. So, uh, yeah, it is a good what? Yeah, improvement. What's things. happening right now over there? Oh, we're having a cocktail reception party uh, by the president. president is not coming yet. <laughs> the president is the last one to come. Yeah, I think yeah. so. So, um, uh, do you come every year? I do. Uh, I think I came first in 70, 1970. I'm not a founding member, but I was very active for taught classes, taught at UCLA for 20 years on displays, wrote a book, 40 patents, been active. And the shows are the proving ground for the next whatever it's going to be. We never know. And the we recent years are just as cool as the early years or is even cooler, even more interesting? Oh, it's getting more interesting and better. We now, our, our displays now are better than nature. The, the 8K new resolution is just over the top, fantastic. And roses are on fire and uh, blue moons are really blue. The quality of displays today exceeds what the public ever expected to get. And so um, these OLEDs, uh, like, for example, the one LGs are selling, they're like so amazing, right? And pop it out, and it's a real thing. People can buy them for like a couple, three oh, yeah. years, right? Yeah. And how cool is that to be involved with this? Actually, the, yeah, the, I didn't expect that when I, when I was working on the first Active Matrix line. And, uh, yeah, it was very costly at the time. And uh, I was thinking, it, we have a... a Com very good contrast ratio, so uh, the display performance is great, but uh, 
it was so expensive, so nobody want, they wanted to use that. But uh, these days, uh, uh, price is going down, so everybody can enjoy the merit of OLED. So, uh, How did that happen? Because um, uh, OLED is, was uh, two years ago, was 30 years anniversary, right? Eh? Uh, so that's a long time, but how did it get into the point of being... Actually, we, we were using uh, uh, pixelation technology, RGB pixelation by the shadow mask, but uh, the, the shadow mask brings lower yield, so that's why uh, the, we, brought in, we uh, brought a new, actually a new technology, white plus color filter technology. You know that the color filter has a very high yield due to the uh, a lot of maturity in uh, LCD field, so that's how uh, we could uh, assure the very good yield of uh, all the television. Yeah. That's why uh, the cost was dramatically reduced. So it's with the, you say the white? So yes. it's uh, RGB plus the white, or how yes. does it work? Yeah, RGB and uh, plus what? white, that is, yes. And uh, we have sub-pixel, four sub-pixel uh, arrangement. That's why uh, uh, the power consumption is uh, determined by the white pixel. That's why we can have a low power consumption as well as a good uh, color reproduction. So uh, that was. How long time did magic. it take to make this work? Um, actually, in, that was in uh, uh, like a year 2000s. Uh, we had a lot of discussion, and everybody 2000. was. Yeah, 2000s. That's we had 20 a, years ago. Yeah, 20 years ago, we had a lot of discussion about it, uh, there should be a trade-off between. Uh, uh, color saturation and uh, power consumption, but uh, due to that kind of uh, magic using a uh, uh, subpixel RGBW subpixel, and also uh, uh, we actually made a lot of uh, improvement in the OLED formulation for the white. So uh, that's why we could achieve both uh, power consumption and uh, color purity uh, happen. But it took 20 years. To get not, to now? not 20 years. Actually, the when I made uh, that 100% uh, NTSC uh, uh, presentation was uh, 2008. So the 12 years ago. So 12 years ago was a presentation about what? About 100% uh, NTSC, uh, white plus color filter OLED. So that means uh, before then, it was not that good. Actually, uh, the the year before that, that was a uh, 72% or something. But due to such a uh, uh, in improvement in the formulation and also the color science we in incorporated, that's why we had a lot of boost. Uh, so that's why we could make that kind of a great number happen. How awesome is it the feeling to 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 know that the stuff you've done is like it's all over the place, like in every single room there, are all over this. I mean, uh, it's just everywhere, right? How does how does that feel? Well, yeah. Uh, OLEDs have unique properties. Their performance is better, and their power is less, but their life is less, and their weight is less. So it makes them ideal for cell phones, where life is not an issue. And the cost is higher, so it doesn't necessarily cause them to be leaders in the consumer market for television sets. But they are higher performers, and liquid crystals seems to keep getting better catching up with them. And so we're going to see at this show what the contest is. Are the liquid crystals now another step forward with quantum dots, or are the OLEDs another step forward with uh, filters and quantum dots? It's going to be a good show. Uh, and what do you think about the display industry? Is it like the coolest industry out there? Yeah, it's actually growing and actually changing a lot. You know, uh, the, in the past, uh, our biggest topic was flat panel display. But actually, uh, the flat panel display everybody always have in, uh, at home. So uh, what we see in uh, Display Week these days is uh, something a lot of different from uh, uh, the past thing. Actually, AR, VR, or the micro LEDs, flexible OLED. Uh, that kind of uh, showing uh, the future of uh, our displays. So, uh, that is uh, very brilliant, or maybe uh, that, that is artistic. Or the, the, and, uh, th for example, the three-dimensional television existed before, but uh, it is a lot changing these days. So uh, we can enjoy the real 3D image without uh, the glasses. So, uh, 
that sort of a new technology will make a new business. It's just so clear and so amazing and so, the, the like, saturation is so amazing. It's, it feels like you're there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just better than real reality, right? Right, right. Like you say. I'm going to join the party. All and right. uh, so we, sh we can have a session at UCLA if you come there about the new museum showing the evolution of the technology. So there's a museum on, on the... It's on display? campus, Belter Hall, room 3400. And the, what kind of, uh, it's about display history? It has a display history right at the same location that Sid had their very first meeting back in 1962, September. So it's a, it's a museum on SID? The museum is in two parts. One is the evolution of SID, which kind of parallels the second part, which is the evolution of electronic information displays. All right, that's really awesome. All right, thanks a lot. So we we'll need to check that out. Yeah. The U so I gave you my card, right? Yeah, we'll check it out. Anytime that you're going to be in Los Angeles, yeah, uh, we'll arrange. Is it open for the public? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And all year. Yeah. Monday to Friday, or uh, whenever the university the, is open. The buildings are locked, I think, on weekends and at night. But otherwise, yeah. it's open to the public. Cool. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. Awesome. So I hope uh, it's going to be a great show. Oh, yeah. And um, looking forward to all these technology. One, one thing I wonder is all these amazing displays, do they happen by sheer talent of the engineering? Or is it always billions of dollars? If there's not like huge investment, it doesn't happen? Uh, yeah, there's a yeah, the new uh, business uh, seed things. Then uh, uh, so many investors are happening. So. Uh, that it's also great. always a, a question of investment, right? right Many right, times. Right. Not just being smart. Right. It's not enough to be smart sometimes. Many times it's so cool displays and it, they don't get in the market, right? Mm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we are developing uh, cool enough thing to uh, attract the investment. So, uh, yeah. Cool. That is why we are, our industry is growing. And you say uh, attraction in China? There's oh, yeah. a lot of stuff happening in China, mm. and they're getting really um, doing some good stuff. Yep. Uh, they are really serious about all that. And, uh, they are making so many uh, manufacturing lines, so uh, uh, that is a. Uh, yeah, we will see more all of this place uh, in the near future. So. Many new members, right? Yeah, many new members. Many people joining? Yeah, membership attendance. growing uh, rapidly. And the it's attendance amazing. is going up, I heard. Oh, yeah. The show? Very much. Especially this year. We are holding yeah. in San Jose, so uh, yeah, we have a lot of people attending. And every number is better than the last year. So. Cool.